Hey guys, what's going on? It's your girl, Baby, the one off the East Coast, Southern East Coast, Coast Streets. <laughs> if you follow our other page, I have a podcast called Speak Up, Speak Out, Speak Loud. We uh, give a platform for entrepreneurs and artists. We give you informative information for our communities, as well as some entertainment news. So that's where that little slogan comes from. But this episode is all about business and knowledge. Now, we we give you this information because as we grow, we want to see others grow as well. So we may not know everything, but any information is better than no information. So why not spread joy, 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 (laughs) laughter and knowledge, especially when everybody's trying to be the CEO of their life. I mean, how can you not help each other out? So, this episode is about a question we always get or people are always wondering, especially with starting your business online. Um, Pretty much, what is the difference between memberships and subscriptions? And is it important or vital to have it? Well, I'm glad you guys are joining us today. We're going to go ahead and give you a little information. So, let's get started. ahead and jump right in you guys so what is a subscription or what is the difference actually let's just put it together what's the difference between a membership and a subscription well the difference is not however it's the value of it okay so with subscriptions um typically they only last for a certain duration of time uh with memberships it's more like a belonging thing so, typically, um, subscriptions can be like annually, which is yearly. Uh, they can be monthly. I know some people who will, every six months, you have to renew your subscription. So, it, it really just depends. With Robin's Lane Body Market, we do have subscribers. Uh, the benefits of having a membership and having a subscriber they both give you deals, but I guess the very, 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 mm-hmm. I don't know y'all. Okay. So the severity. <laughs> Excuse me. So the severity of each is different. So, okay. Memberships. So you can get free stuff. You can get a lot of freebies. That's what I hear a lot with memberships. Freebies, 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 freebies. Subscriptions, you can get a chance to win a freebie. You can get, you know, uh, with your subscription, you'll be put into like a raffle. Um, Those are stuff that you can get for subscribers and members. The difference again is it's only for a duration of time as well as your benefits may not be as much. That's our question. (laughs) All right, so for question number dose, (laughs) uh, how should you charge a subscription? This is a tough question because you definitely want to monitor what's in the market and you want to see what other people are um, advertising themselves for. So, for instance, with subscriptions, uh, they can range from like a dollar up to like $15.99. If you guys are actually thinking about your subscriptions with like um, Disney Plus or Hulu, those prices can range and typically they're in the higher ones. However, a lot of lifestyle bloggers, people who have online like social groups and you want to be part of it, memberships typically start on a lower end. For instance, our subscription is $2 a month. But the value that you would get, because you have exclusive, uh, you you have the ability to see all these products first. You you get the high end products for a lower value. So it's a lot of benefit of being a subscriber with Robin's Lane Market, and that's typically how other companies advertise it, um, advertise as well. So do you have to? I guess rounding back up. So do you have to put your subscription high? No, you don't have to put your subscription high. With subscription, the more subscriptions you get, the higher your your 
revenue, your monthly revenue is going to be. So you don't have to price it that high. As long as you stay with your consistency as far as marketing and advertising, advertising and promotions, then you should be bringing in subscriptions. As well as you want the comfortability of your subscribers to make them want to reference you to other people, give your information to other people. Hey, look at what I get as far as being a subscriber. It's the same thing with memberships as well. You want to bring that value of importance to your clientele so they will go out and they will tell other people. So don't give that up. Just because there's internet, just because there's social media, just because there's reels, just because there's YouTube doesn't mean you should stop your word of mouth people. That is still one of the main ways that um, your company information gets out there. So definitely want to do that. Um, but to answer the question, no, it doesn't have to be overly expensive. Uh, it can be a low value. Just think about it. If you price it at $3 a month and you have a thousand people who subscribe, that's a, that's a revenue, you know, that's, and that's just off the subscription as well. That's not even talking about the products or the services that you're selling. That's just the subscription to the su service that you're getting. Um, all right, let's go on to the next question because I don't, <laughs> I'm trying to answer them the best way. Ask question. <sighs> out. Question number three. Are there risks? in subscriptions and memberships. Well, like anything in business, yes, there is a risk for it. There is a risk that, you know, people may not renew their subscription. Um, there's a risk um, in memberships and specific charges if you do charge for the memberships. Um, so there, there's always a risk. There's a risk with anything. Anytime you take any entrepreneur step, there is a risk. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of major risks. Their concern with members, okay, so a concern with membership that people have is how do you actually keep people's attraction? How do you keep people coming back? Honestly, you just need to take notice in your feedback. You need to monitor the action on the website. What part of the website is getting more traction than other parts? Is there maybe products or services that the market is tending to stray towards versus another product or service that I'm offering. Um, and I, I would just continue to just look over the analytics. Uh, with memberships, one thing that I have noticed, there are companies, very popular companies, that I believe this is an action for them to kind of save themselves. Memberships to like Just Fab or Savage Fenty, they um, and subscriptions you put your card down but with their membership let's say you don't find anything that month they have a button that says skip this month so it doesn't touch but if you don't push it within like a five day window because that shows the value you understand certain circumstances with customers or people we're human sometimes we just forget so you give them that grace period if they don't hold it or skip that month between the first and the fifth of the month then your card will be charged on the six. But it's not like they just charge your card and say, oh, well, you signed up for a membership. They give you it actually in a credit. And believe it or not, people, this is where this is where it gets scary. People are wondering, you know, is that going to deter people because you charge their card, you know, and they, they weren't even thinking about it. Well, if you're a shopper like me, Sometimes it doesn't even like matter, you know, if you're a subscription person, uh, if you do a lot of memberships, you understand, and also that's why you need to read the term of agreements, people, when, when you sign up for something. So if you are putting that out there, make sure it's very clear the terms and agreements of your subscriptions and of your memberships um, that, that people are able to sign up for. But for them, for instance, let's say you don't make it within that time frame and say skip a month. They charge your card, but they put a credit back on your account. So that's why a lot of people stay around because, okay, yeah, I got charged, but I got a credit that I can use at any time, you know. So it, it, it does balance itself out. Some people may deter them in. They may go another way with it. But majority of people, they'll just be like, okay, cool. I Oh, that's fine. No problem. I understand, you know. So it's it's... 
it's fine it happens um subscribers when it's time for them to renew you know you may lose some you may not lose some but you definitely want to continue to offer things you know you want you want to be able to offer what is attracting them if there is a certain item that you know is very popular it sells out fast you want to start your subscription you know they can have exclusive deals or discounts to your most popular product so that's something that will attract people as well <sighs> that's all the information I really have <laughs> I wish I could give you more but like I said we're growing together we're learning together but the moral of this uh, video is we don't want you to run from opportunities out there. So if you're thinking about starting subscriptions, go ahead and just do more research on it. You know, there are applications that will help you. Wix.com, Gumroad, a lot of people are using Gumroad as something that's very popular out there because you can put as much information as possible in one tier and then you can make multiple subscriptions in different types of levels, different types of tiers. They want to be, you know, uh, a monthly subscriber, this discount, yearly subscriber, you'll get this. Wix actually is one of, Wix.com is actually one of the websites that a lot of people have started their companies or started their online sites through. And it's pretty, pretty much because it's like a Barbie, not Barbie, Barney style hand holding through. But that is very beneficial because a lot of times when you get started, you're kind of, putting pieces together trying to figure out what are you going to do and here it actually helps you you know you may not even use it in the end result but it's something that helped you teach along and if you want to do memberships price plans subscriptions they have all that and they have all the information that you would need they literally walk you through every step you can fill it out any and every way you want it's not something that's just a program it is something that you can specifically hand out yourself so I think you know that's something that's beneficial but that's all the information I have today um, we have so much going on go ahead and check out baby B A B I E Elaine YouTube page for any of our podcast episodes with our interviews we have had one of the youngest CEOs up here she's 14 now we have a writer um, he is literally changing the game out here he's on his third book he is selling products for the ladies and he is um it, it's very inspirational what he talks about and i feel like it is a lesson that is needs to be heard so hope you guys took a little bit of information from us hopefully it makes you a little bit more comfortable with subscriptions and with memberships and which way you think would be best to go for your company um until next time see you guys bye